What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mike. This is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Today's episode is all about Reolink customer service. We all know how important customer service is when you're buying a product, especially if something goes wrong. And for us, our two terabyte MVR system is broken. <laughs> Let's see what Reolink does to solve this issue. So whether you already own a Reolink system or you're looking to buy one, you need to watch this video, you're gonna be shocked. All right, this video has four parts. Part one is the MVR system. What went wrong with it, the symptoms. Part two is how we tried to fix it ourselves. And part three is how we contacted Reolink customer support and how they tried to help us fix it as well. Part four, finally, Reolink resolved our issue and got our MVR back up and running. And before we get started, make sure to hit subscribe and like this video. And guys, grab a cup of coffee or a juice or a soda or a beer or maybe a bang. And uh, let's get started. Ah, woo! All right guys, this is what happened to our MBR system. It was a typical morning and I woke up to film some videos for my channel and noticed that my MBR system was showing a black screen and all the lights on the MBR were working. All PoE connections were showing signals, but the MVR was making this strange noise. This is definitely the hard drive. And if you've been around computers, that's not a good sound at all. Okay, so you can see the MVR is not working. I'm not getting any picture on the screen. I can hear noise in here. The lights are on. So what I'm gonna do is unplug it. And then I'll plug it back in a second. And we'll see what it does. You hear it turning on. Let's look at the screen. All right, we get the real link home screen icon, and then nothing. You can hear it. I can definitely hear it in here. I don't. It's strange. All the lights are on. So I believe it's a hard drive issue. That's my best guess. Either it's fried, or I need to open this box up and unplug it and then plug it back in, see if that'll work. Kind of reboot it, reset it. So that's the plan. So I'm gonna take this off the wall. I'll go ahead and take this cover off and get inside and we'll see what we can do to fix this. All right, so first things first, it's unplugged. I gotta unplug everything here so I can get this off the wall. So let's go ahead and do all that. Okay, I basically unplugged everything from the MVR system. And I left all these wires and cables in the same area, so that'll be easy to hook everything back up once I get the MVR fixed. So my original plan was to open the MVR system up and take a look at the hard drive. However, I thought better, and this is where I contact a real link customer service and support, because opening that box up without authorization voids the warranty. So keep this in mind if your MVR system is not working properly. So at this point, I did email customer support on the official real link website, and I was surprised I got an email back in about six hours. I was expecting a longer delay, like maybe one or two days, but I have to say, Real Link was very quick. And what's really funny about this is customer support recommended I open the MBR system up and unplug the hard drive from the power and the SATA connection to basically reset the hard drive, then plug it back in. And that was my plan all along, but I wanted to make sure Real Link was okay with it. I didn't want to avoid the warranty. And I have to say, these MVR systems are pretty easy to take apart. I think it was about eight screws. And once I got it apart, I simply unplugged the SATA connection and the power connection from the hard drive. I then waited about five minutes and plugged everything back in and reconnected all the wires and once again, nothing, except that annoying sound, which is probably a broken hard drive. So then Reolink customer support suggested a firmware update via USB. And that didn't work either. So at this point, this is a dead NVR and most likely a bad hard drive. And to be honest, I thought Reolink would probably send me out another hard drive to swap it out with a bad one. However, Reolink did not offer that option, but even better, they offered to send me out a brand new NVR system. And then I was shipped back the broken NVR system to their office in California. And this cost about $8. So once I gave Reolink my address, I received the new MVR system in two days via Amazon. 
I've plugged everything back in like usual, and everything works perfect. And the user interface for this system is way better than the old one. And because it's a brand new MVR system, I had to reconfigure everything. From the admin password, to time of day, the date, and network features. But like I said, the new user interface is amazing and easy to use. So guys, I really wanted to share my experience with Reallink customer service and support because customer service and support is a huge part of any company. And Reallink knocked it out of the park. So whether you have Reallink systems or consider buying one, at least you know the customer service and support has your back. In full disclosure, the MVR system they replaced, I purchased over a year ago. This was not provided for free by Reallink at all. Our channel, The Ultimate Tech Hub, has done two reviews on Reallink cameras, the E1 Pro and a Bullet camera. We have never needed to use customer support or service, but it's great to know when they are available, they're quick to respond, courteous, and resolve issues. Well guys, we're all done here. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Once again, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. You know why. It's free. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Have a great day.